As many as 42 million people felt today's earthquake, that according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Although there wasn't much damage, it certainly rattled a lot of nerves. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger live in Columbus Circle tonight with that part of our coverage. Josh? Sandra, even more wild than what happened this morning is the fact that it's just a normal night in the city. It's pretty busy on this early spring Friday night. The sidewalks are jammed and with no injuries and with no damage in the city, it would be easy to think nothing did happen, but we all know different. And we found one business in the Upper West Side that found a way to cleverly capitalize on this morning's confusion. Hot off the presses. A little bit of New York City history. A reminder of the time the earth shook, even though its biggest impact may be the jolt to business at this tiny t-shirt shop. The earthquake happened. We felt it roll through the building. And then I'm like, we should make a shirt. Kerry Colley owns Big Frog Custom Shirts with his partner. And before they knew it today, lines were stretching out the door to grab an instant hit for just 10 bucks. Oh my gosh, no, it's absolutely insane. And we didn't even post it on social media. Someone came in about an hour and a half after we put it in the window and said, you're going viral, and it had 1.9 million views. It's crazy. New Yorkers welcomed the sudden rumble as only New Yorkers could. An earthquake? Forget about it. We live by train tracks, so I thought it was, we thought it was just a train for a bit. But then we found it was an earthquake found and just all of a sudden the mirror started clacking really loud and it was my uh, first day in town so I don't know if this is normal is it construction nearby the city immediately activated its emergency management protocols New Yorkers should go about their normal day sending two push alerts to every cell phone while assembling all of government to search for any damage there are 1.1 million buildings in the city you need to go out and check on your buildings but by the end of this shaky day and following an aftershock at dinner time, the city reported no damage at all. Big Frog Upper West Side, this is Carrie. And this little t-shirt shop experienced a seismic shift in its business. Yes, we are the earthquake shirt store. The earthquake happened, nothing major really happened. So it's a cute little shirt and people can laugh and, and make fun of it. One little idea, they were selling hundreds of shirts, if not more. Uh, for all the joking and for all the goodwill, that uh, the fact that no one was hurt, that that created, the city does point out there are more than a million buildings in the city. They can't inspect all of them, so they are, as they said, they're relying on property owners to make sure if you do see some crack that seems to have opened up either today or in the coming weeks, Make sure you call 311 so that they can come take a look. We're live on Columbus Circle. Josh Einiger, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. What?